Happy anniversary, Dr. Jun. Caleb, 11 o'clock. We have some work to do, Mr. Zachary. <laughs> I know everything about you. Every little humiliation that you thought no one knew about. At the count of ten. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay, Blake. I'm ready for you. Dr. Helga Jen's office. This is Dr. Jen. Good morning, Dr. Jen. Good morning, Caleb. You're not going to cancel our appointment today, are you? No, Dr. Jen. This is our appointment. I would much rather see you in person, Caleb. What am I looking at? I sent you a video conference request. I have something I want to show you. And I can't do that in person. What do you want to show me? In a minute. Let's talk first. All right, Caleb. We'll have your appointment this way. Today is a special day. I know. It's the second anniversary of my therapy with you. You remembered. Anniversaries are a good time for reflection. So what progress have we made in the last year? Well, um, unfocused violence is pointless? Yes, yes, so we've worked through that issue. No more violence, right? You said violence was ultimately self-destructive. Yes, I did. This is wonderful. So many others just don't understand the concept. I try my best to convey it, but they- Dr. Jen, it makes so much sense. How could I miss the point? Oh, Caleb, you are an exceptional patient. We've had our difficulties, but I'm really thrilled with your breakthrough. Yes, learning to focus aggression is a big breakthrough. Focus? No, no, no. Caleb, we don't focus aggression, we diffuse it. Remember? No, Dr. Jen, you're wrong. Sometimes savagery is necessary. It just needs to be channeled. Caleb. What are you planning? There's this guy, Blake. He needs killing. I'm gonna kill him. Oh my god. Why? Why are you doing this? You don't even know me. <laughs> I know everything about you. Every little humiliation that you thought no one knew about. But I've never met you. How could you? <laughs> I've been close to you for years. Unnoticed but close. Caleb, you can't kill Blake. You'll only end up hurting yourself. You know that, don't you? He's a sniveling little wimp. He lets people wipe their feet on him like a human doormat. He deserves to die. Blake is not the problem. You He's need... gotten away with this nice guy act for years. It makes me sick. You must know on some level that this is not the answer, Caleb. Okay, okay. I'll make comments. Really? Are we gonna go out to dinner at that great Italian place on 3rd Street? Sh sure, you can. You can order any anything you want. It's on me. Great pastas. Good. I think I'll go there after this is over and celebrate. What's their specialty? Meatballs? Blake hasn't intentionally... Doesn't matter. Caleb, you are still very ill. You need more help than I can give. No. No. I'm almost cured. Just this one last thing. When Blake's gone, I'll be fine. <laughs> Enough! Aren't you bored with this? I'm bored with it. 
You you can't you can't really do this. At the count of ten. One. Two. Three. Stop, Caleb. This act won't cure you. In fact, it indicates that you are still yes, very. No. I can't let you do this. You need to be hospitalized. No, no hospital. Wait, Caleb, come back. Five, six, seven, eight. Seven, eight, nine, ten. You got lucky, Blake. But there's always another day, pal.